All crowd open gov, unlike Kusama open gov will get a lot more requests despite the 20 days wait time that each spender takes. People are more patient but the queues are bigger and we still see mistakes with the wrong extrinsics here just like on Kusama. Maybe that treasury.proposed spend feature should be disabled for a while or have some sort of warning. In today's OpenGov episode, we'll find out what's going on right now on Polkadot. Let the drama begin. Welcome to today's video. My name is Claudio and this is CryptoChain. I'll start with the treasurer track because there's just one referendum and on this track, there's no limit to the amount of DOT that can be requested from the treasury, hence why the decision deposit is quite high being 1000 DOT worth just over $5000 right now. Referendum 22 by user Deep Inc Ventures, who hasn't verified their identity on chain but has only paid to reserve a username, uh, the team are looking for 77500 DOT which is worth approximately $395,000. Now to explain a bit about who they are, Deep Inc Ventures are a deep tech venture studio who are building startups, companies, venture and new businesses for clients like you. They're building on Genesis DAO which is a substrate based blockchain designed to facilitate the creation and management of DAOs. They previously received funding from the Web3 Foundation, $100,000 to be more exact, in order to develop the core functionality. They already have a functional testnet and now they're looking to expand on that core functionality by creating a framework that will allow plugins and extensions to be created. They also claim to be building the first implementation of Stylograph Marketplace. The team claimed that Stylograph is a framework aimed at enhancing the functionality of substrate based chains in the Polkadot ecosystem with plugin like functionality. It's built as part of a grants program. Uh, when I googled it though, I found that Stylograph is a word processor for OS9, which is an operating system by Microware, so the two things could be completely unrelated, but just putting that out there. Their new components will also be compatible with Inc protocols which are going to be commonly used within the Polkadot ecosystem by many teams. Now one of the features the team wants to develop is the Vote Escrow extension. The primary purpose of Vote Escrow tokens is to incentivize long-term commitment to a platform or ecosystem by allowing users to lock their tokens for a specified period of time. In return users receive voting power and often additional rewards in the form of boosted rewards. This mechanism helps ensure that participants who are actively engaged and committed to be long-term success of the platform have greater influence over its governance decisions. They also want to create the vesting wallet which is a common primitive for use cases like DAO tooling, token issuance and initial token offerings. Finally, they want to create dedicated council voting and the plugin and extension store. They've also mentioned how the budget will be split and allocated to different components with estimated timeframes but they haven't added a team who will be working on this proposal with this allocated budget and how much each team member gets paid and for what exactly. Also they haven't added any team member information on the proposal which is something that should always be included for transparency if you want the community to support, especially for a very large ask such as this, all paid up front too. Reputation is key here. Now as it stands, there are 12 days and 3 hours left of the referendum and it's currently passing with almost 3.5 million dot in I votes and almost 3 million dot in knee votes so there's a very close battle going on there and we'll see how it turns out now i think if they would add the team members and do a breakdown of the budget in the proposal it would have more success so that people can see how the spending is being allocated to each piece of work and they should definitely validate their identity on chain as well as should everyone creating a referendum moving on to the first small tipper with referendum 54 created by user alice and bob Tom is looking for 40 dot worth approximately $200 for spending his time to produce a 25 minute video explaining Gavin Wood's Polkadot 2.0 in simple terms on his YouTube channel. He currently has received over 2.4 million dot in I votes and only 50k in E votes as only 3 days left before a decision is made. Referendum 57 by Web3 Online which is requesting 234 dot worth approximately $1200 for producing substrate based content on his YouTube channel, uh, he claims to have created 72 videos related to Rust and 40 videos related to Polkadot. You can see his channel here which is averaging about 250 to 300 views per video depending on the type with a channel of over 3270 subscribers. Referendum has received over 770,000 in I votes and over 50k in knee votes and has around 4 days left before a decision is made. Referendum 61 created by an anonymous user is looking for 250 dot which is worth approximately $1250 
for the creation of a chatbot that can be integrated with the Polkadot Wiki, but it got some pressure in the comments from a Web3 Foundation employee that it's too risky to integrate this kind of bot, so it's a no from their side even if it gets funding. Referendum is currently failing with over 206,000 dot against and 172,000 dot in favor and it's in the preparation stage with no decision deposit being added yet. Referendum 60 by Dotomi who's looking for 100 dot worth approximately $500 for talking about Polkadot on a Finnish podcast called Hopium. Apparently the podcaster was happy with what he heard and he'd like to bring him on again to talk about Polkadot in more detail. The referendum is currently failing with over $780,000 against and just $43,500 in favor with the referendum still being in preparation stage since no decision deposit has been added. Referendum 59 from the small tipper track is a mistake as it used the wrong extrinsic of treasury.proposed spend instead of treasury.spend when it got created and it's part of referendum 61. Moving on to the big tipper track, there's just one referendum which is referendum 63 by Alex promo team and it got created with the wrong extrinsic as well and no decision deposit has been added. Team had commented to vote nay because they made a mistake uh, with the pre-image. On the small spender track, we'll start with referendum 1 launched by Coin Studio who runs validators on both Polkadot and Kusama and is part of the auditing team. He's looking for $2,179 worth approximately $10,000 for the continuation of the Kusama OpenGov proposal audit on Polkadot OpenGov. This amount would be split between him and Abdul B who are now the full-time auditors for the ecosystem. This would also include funding the audits in advance because on Kusama the way it was done was that they do a number of audits first and then launch a proposal to get retroactive funding for that work with the risk there being that some parties might not be in favor and would nay vote the individual thus mean that all the effort was in vain. So I personally think this is a good idea that it's now being paid up front because I know how much work goes behind these audits and having to go through long proposals. The referendum is currently passing with over 2.3 million dot in favor and over 753k against and has 6 days and 9 hours left before a decision is made. Moving on to referendum 2 by user dudo 50 paraspell they're looking for 6454 dot worth approximately 32,000 for 5 months to maintain the Paraspell SDK, which is a software development toolkit used by developers. I've seen these guys around for quite some time and teams do use their SDK since it allows XCM support to be implemented into a DAP, so it makes sense as to why they'd want to continue uh, with this specific service. The community is not having it though and the referendum is currently failing with almost 1.3 million dot in knee votes and just over 350k in i votes and there are 6 days and 10 hours left before a decision is made. Referendum 7 by Paradox is requesting 250 dot for each of the 22 high quality nomination pools as well as 250 dot for the Polka Guide team who have developed the tool itself. Rewards would be distributed to the pool itself and not the pool creator so it's a shared reward amongst all nominators. The referendum is currently passing with over 2.6 million dot in I votes and almost 320k in E votes and there are 6 days and 18 hours left before a decision is made. Referendum 10 launched by the user middle.dev for the Polkashots team is requesting 3936.69 dot which is worth approximately 19.7k for reimbursements for Google Cloud expenses for the January to April period. The referendum is currently passing with over 760k in I votes and almost 420k in E votes and there are 8 days and 2 hours left before a decision. Referendum 11 by Polkadot Brazil is looking for funding to create the following benefits. Gamified user onboarding which is going to reward users with gamification elements and NFTs to encourage participation. Connected content creation to create engaging content in Portuguese across various platforms including social media to raise awareness, educate and connect with the community. Apparently WAG Media will also be supporting them when it comes to content and integrated social media by running campaigns across Twitter, Telegram, Discord etc and website development in which their website would serve as the central hub for all Polkadot information in Brazilian Portuguese. Their strategy is to get 3 months worth of funding so around 13.8k now up front and then upon delivery to request the next 3 months worth of funding for another 38.8k. Unfortunately this referendum has been created with the wrong extrinsic of treasury.proposed spend like a few others before 
so they'll have to wait for this to end before launching another one and the referendum is currently failing with almost 2.9 million dollar against just 18.3k dot in favor and there are 8 days and 13 hours left before a decision is made. Looking at referendum 17, this is an interesting one as the parchain team Integrity themselves created a proposal suggesting a solution to create privacy sidechains for all substrate based chains and they're looking for 8,775 dot for their efforts which is worth approximately $44,000 right now. They're launching this initiative because they want to open the gates to those potential customers who can't afford to pay using their native coin tier. I'm also assuming here that this is a way for the team to have a backup plan in case they don't get any users who are happy to pay in tier and they can always come back to the treasury and say hey look we onboarded this many users for free so you the community could continue funding us again and again and this is why i assume it has triggered a lot of heat in the comments too the team at integrity have commented that they already have the sdk to build it making it simpler in terms of an implementation but again it goes back to saying what i mentioned earlier in that the pain here is for those who have bought tier and are hoping for the team to deliver and to push the effort on the integrity side which will generate value for those coin holders and not reach out to the treasury and this user has raised a similar concern here in this comment which was very blunt to be fair and he has a point parching teams that have a solution in place should focus on building that solution and delivering rather than find alternatives to deviate them from their roadmap the referendum is currently failing with over 1.26 million dollar against and over 611,000 in favor and there are 10 days and 11 hours left before a decision is made moving on to referendum 19 which is for the stake world or pc provider and boot node infrastructure who's asking for 3469 dot worth approximately 17,000 for their continued RPC services for Polkadot, Asset Hub, Bridge Hub and Collectives and the referendum is currently passing with over $809,000 in favor and almost $650,000 against there are 10 days and 17 hours left before decision is made referendum 40 created by user Eric Pinknode for the Pinknode public endpoint are looking to get retroactive funding worth $4,246.19 worth approximately $21,000 in funding for an expense from Q4 of 2022 as they weren't able to get this to pass through on Governance 1 with the council motion due to one council vote missing. The referendum is currently failing with over 467 in knee votes and over 239,000 in I votes. And there are 17 days and 57 minutes left before a decision is made. Referendum 45 by On Finality are aiming for a big move here, which has generated a bit of controversy. They're the biggest RPC node provider, and so they're asking for 4,747 dot which is worth approximately 23,700 in order to supply RPCs to 38 different parachains. But Paradox left an interesting comment stating that not all parachains are so affected by this bear market that they can't afford $620 a month for the well-being of their network and that if this is the case then he would question them which does make sense to be fair. There's also a, a big argument right now as to whether Polkadot should financially support every parachain team because without parachains Polkadot would die but that begs the question why should a failing parachain continue to receive compensation if there hasn't been anything delivered to demonstrate that they deserve that support so it's a sensitive topic that i don't want to get into in this specific video but you get my point that being said on finality are currently winning with over 627 dot in i votes and over 420,000 in knee votes and there are 17 days and 12 hours left before a decision is made referendum 46 by cctf is for creating and funding a polkadot hub in bali in order for the ecosystem to be promoted there through meetups events hackathons and so on and they're looking for 7915 dot which is worth approximately 39,500 dollars for their efforts the person who raised this is david the head polkadot ambassador for eastern europe so he does have a good reputation in the eco and has also established all other polkadot hubs in other countries so it wouldn't be his first the reason he wants to start it in bali is because there are already over 130 members in the community there so he wants to help expand it that being said the referendum is currently failing with over 1 million dot in e votes and over 226,000 in i votes and there are 18 days and 18 hours left before decision is made which tells me that a number of large holders are not happy with this initiative because they did receive a lot of positive feedback from the general community but welcome to OpenGov where the unexpected can become a reality referendum 52 is launched by user doubt terminal which is enhancing user involvement in polkadot governance 
and they're requesting $3,956 for their efforts worth approximately $19,800. The idea here is that they'll summarize what each new referendum is about and it would get shared on social media channels for people to see and then vote without spending too much time going through these proposals. They're hoping that this would encourage active participation and the team however have gotten a massive amount of rejection as soon as they had launched this referendum because shockingly it's sitting at over 906,000 in knee votes and only 20,000 in I votes and there are 23 days and 9 hours left before a decision is made. Now I'll do another one of these to cover medium and big spenders because it's way too much to cover everything in a single video. But before I end it, I'll take a quick look at the treasury situation on Polkadot, a whooping $46.2 million is available, which is worth approximately $231 million, and only $1,000 have been approved for spending so far in this round, uh, worth $5,000, where $462,619 are up for burning worth 2.3 million dollars that is an insane amount that's getting burned but that's how it works on polkadot open gov that's been it from today's open gov news thank you as always for watching and if you want to let me know what you plan to vote for please do so down in the comments below also please don't forget to like the video to help it get to more people or share it with people who you think can find this of value i'll see you in the next video